What's up guys, Psychomania here, and today I will be showing you guys the Oryx Challenge. Now this one's kind of stupid, I think. You have to detonate all 16 bombs at the same time. I know, who comes up with that? Like really, I mean. So you can do this two ways. You can kind of do the no night strat, <coughs> where you don't shoot the ogres right away. And then, uh... You get them weak or whatever, and then wait until you stun Oryx, and then you do have to kill the ogres each round, however, unless you want 16 ogres constantly shooting at you and the runner. I mean, that's up to you. If you can do that, I want to see that video, if you can pull that off. But, so you would still have to kill the ogres each round, but uh, you also have to make sure you kill the knights as well. It's just a... Uh, I guess a safer method, if you you could just sit up top and not risk as much, I guess. But you have to make sure you kill those knights, because with all those bombs laying around. But uh, we did not do that, we did the normal strat, the way we used to do it. Where, uh, you'll see, um, we kill the ogres right away and kill the knights right away. And since you don't detonate the bombs, like normally you'd be like, oh, if you don't detonate the bomb, then when you're running around your uh, totem to avoid the airstrikes, how are you going to avoid hitting it and setting it off? Well, apparently when you don't set off the bombs at all, he never does the airstrike. He always teleports you inside. But uh, here you see me snipe. It's pretty easy. One person can snipe both of them. But uh, we were both hunters on this side. Going, I don't know what he was doing, but I, I told him to go invisible so that the acolyte eye wouldn't kill us. So instead of setting off the bomb, what we do is we sit here and we kill adds. And then when Oryx slams his fist down, we stun him just like normal. But after that, we don't run to detonate the bomb. So we have just like an extra minute to kill adds. And uh, you pretty much do this four times. You're going to get teleported inside three times. So just make sure you're stocked up on heavy ammo, sniper ammo, have sense ready hope that RNG drops you some on the ground like right there some heavy for me I think I actually go running for it <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty simple I mean uh, I don't know the no night strap made this really easy to do normally but uh, with this challenge it, uh, it might be a little bit harder if you if you've only done the no night strap because you do still have to kill the ogres and the knights oh and if you do do the no night type strat where you go up top <laughs> you better pray that the ogres go to the same spot every time because if there's bombs scattered around when you go to detonate all 16 of them at the same time you're gonna have some issues if bombs are all over the place so it's probably better to do what we do here and just kill them in the corner because uh, you'll see me at the end all four of my bombs are on top of each other so it looks like there's only one there and I set off all four. But uh, we do have one uh, one ogre teleported, actually. You'll see it at the end. He teleported from the corner where he comes up to the middle. So we had to have an extra person run and detonate that bomb. So that was the only issue we had there. Overall, it was pretty easy. Um, try to have no one die. If someone dies, especially at the beginning, this gets kind of difficult because you're losing damage on one of the ogres. But, uh... Yeah, so when you complete this, um, you'll see at the end, you get the 50th calcified fragment. And when you get all 50 fragments, you unlock a shader, which is called uh, the Beltane, I think. The Beltane armor shader. For some reason, I have all 50 fragments on this character. It told me I didn't have all the fragments. I don't know what that's about, but I also don't really care because the shader is kind of ugly, in my opinion. If you have the one for finding all the new armor pieces, the uh, neon green and black one, that's the one I use. I would just stick with that. It looks a lot better. But uh, another cool thing, you get the uh, Agonarch Carve, I think, which is the ship, the new ship. It looks pretty cool. You'll see our whole fire team using it at the end. Uh, everyone on my fire team for the the drop all my fire team got a 320 weapon except for me which i got a 320 helmet which i would prefer i mean 
I know in my last video I said I wanted a 320 weapon, but thinking about it, getting a helmet in the first place is pretty rare. And getting a 320 helmet just gets that out of the way. So I'm happy. Plus I can always go on another character and do this again. And uh, hopefully get a weapon. And the other thing you get is the Of Light and Hunger Emblem. My favorite emblem, the one that has Oryx on it. It's the one that I wanted before this raid even came out. When you could check that little terminal and see what the, sh uh, the emblems were. It's the one I wanted. So I finally have that. So yeah, this is pretty easy to do if you've done Oryx the legit way before. Shouldn't be too much of an issue for you guys. Uh, we did it. It took... A normal run for us, the whole raid on hard usually takes around 45 minutes. This took us about, I want to say, two hours. <laughs> it was a little little extra trying to get everything down. Plus, uh, one of the people we were playing with is new to Destiny. Believe it or not, he only started Destiny like maybe two weeks ago. We carried him through the normal raid and then the hard raid and he's done all the challenges. So. He went from being like a 260 to like a 3 something in like a week. But uh, also, as you just noticed, one of my fire team members died. That was actually intentional. We had, in this area here, when you get teleported inside, we had one of our teammates, <laughs> just for some reason, or the Oryx Shadow kept targeting him. So if you have a Warlock with self res, see you right there he just self res what we had him do was purposely run up i know usually it's not an issue but for some reason the shadow kept killing this one guy so we had uh the warlock run up and punch the shadow which immediately aggroed the shadow and uh he insta killed that player and then we killed the shadow and he self res so it eliminates it's a guaranteed way to make sure no one dies in there as for the ogres, as you can see, I use my heavy machine gun and throw a grenade at it. It works pretty well. And then I kill the two knights. And it's pretty simple. I mean, the back, well, I call this the front, but most people call it the back. That side that I'm on is usually easier, I want to say. The other side, closer to Oryx, has more issues. The dropship insta-kills you. So good luck if you're on that side, but otherwise, you should be all set if you're on the side that I'm on. But yeah, try to kill the ogres as quick as possible so the bombs aren't scattered and you don't accidentally run into them. Everyone by now is over 310. If, you, if you've if you done the raid even a little bit, I only do it once a week now just because everyone in this group I know in real life and we're all friends. We go to Denny's afterwards, you know, we hang out. We really... Like, Destiny is boring to us, but you know, the raid, it's got some new challenges. It just gives us something to do together, so. So if you're like us, even if you've only done it like once a week on one character, that one character is probably over 310 by now. Especially if you've been doing the challenges and getting free 320 items. So yeah, eventually it might be a struggle at first, but eventually you guys will get it. So, uh, there's still, like, maybe 10 minutes left in this video. Maybe not that long, but I'm gonna stop the commentary here because I don't think I could talk that much longer. There's not really anything left to go over. Just uh, watch the video, enjoy it. I hope it helps you guys. Um, you'll see all the stuff that I got at the end. You'll see all the ships, the shader that I didn't get for some reason. I still don't know what that's about, but I'm not even going to bother looking through all 50 things again, trying to figure out what it was. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll upload more Destiny stuff when they come out with something new. So see you guys next time.
catching, Hunter. 